Hello, everybody. Happy Tuesday. I almost said Monday. Happy Tuesday to everybody. Hope you are doing well. I have got to where I look forward to this every day. So whether or not um, you enjoy it, I enjoy it. And moving forward from this, I may keep doing this for a while. I don't know. Uh, I've got a, a dad joke for you. I was going to try to subtly go into it, but it is what it is. It was uh, a guy once said, Today, my son asked me for a bookmark. I burst into tears. My son is 11 years old, and he still doesn't realize my name is Brian. So think about that one and enjoy. Yes. Well, it is so good to be with you on this Tuesday. Exciting uh, to just be able to do life in this way together. And, and listen, I know I put out these hope videos every every day, but I want you to understand that I don't ever wanna make light of what so many of us are going through right now. I know there are some difficult times, there is some uncertainty, and I think that's why we need things like this more than ever, is to remember that there really is hope in Jesus. And it breaks my heart to know there are people in this world who do not have the hope that we have in Jesus. And so I just want you to be encouraged and realize that God is for you and not against you. And so as always, I've got my Bible, I've got my coffee, and I have got all of you. And so I want to share a scripture with you today that I hope will encourage you. And it's out of the book of Luke, verse or chapter 6, uh, starting at verse 46. Listen to what Jesus says. He says, Why do you keep calling me Lord, Lord, when you don't do what I say? So already, he's offending me. <laughs> he says, I will show you what it's like when someone calls, uh, comes to me and listens to my teaching and then follows it. So he's saying, this is what it looks like when someone comes to me, hears what I'm saying, and then does what I say. It's like the person building his house who first digs deep and lays a foundation on solid rock. When the floodwaters rise and break against that house, it stands firm because it is well built. But anyone who hears and doesn't obey is like the person who builds a house without foundation. And when the floods sweep down against the house, it will collapse into a heap of ruins. And what that reminds me of is when I was younger, I used to think that God wrote uh, his, his word, the Bible, as really just a way to tell me how not to have fun, <laughs> all the things that I couldn't do. And then I realized one day that God didn't, he didn't need to write the Bible for himself. Everything he wrote in there was for my benefit. Therefore, Everything he wrote in there was to help me. Everything that God's Word says, if you look at it, it, it makes common sense. If you look at just the Big Ten, you know, uh, don't, don't murder, don't commit adultery, don't steal, don't do these. These are just common sense ways to make it through this life whole and happy. And so when God's Word says, when Jesus says, listen, if you take these things and do these things and do what I say, hey, you're going to have a lot more success in life. And one of the things God's Word says is to not allow worry to overcome your life. That doesn't mean we won't have worry, but when we have it, instead of falling victim to it, we allow it to remind us to pray and to realize that the God who is for us is always faithful. And we can't, we have to be so very careful not to put uh, human expectations on God because human expectation says, I'm going to trust somebody but only so far because I know at the end of the day, they're just human. We got to be careful not to do that with God. We can trust him all the way because he's not human. He doesn't fail. He doesn't come in second place. He doesn't lose his wind. He doesn't, uh, doesn't get exhausted and tired, all those things. He makes it all the way. And so we can trust that when God says he will take care of us, that means that he will. But we have to activate it in our life by what, what Jesus just said, by listening and then obey. So let's listen to God's word. Let's do what it says. And let's trust him to do all the things that we can't do. Okay. All right. Now let's get ready to end our video. First, I want to say thank you for everybody who prayed for me yesterday. I felt your prayer as I went on my run. And there were a few of you who saw me running down the street because I heard you honking and waving at me and all that. And then sending me text messages. You really did go for a run. Yes. I went and I ran 10 miles and I am here to tell about it. You can ask my staff. I was there today grunting and groaning as I was having to get up. My legs are so tired. 
but I made it. And so that is what I am thankful for today. I am thankful for all of you for praying for me, and I am thankful for making it. And so what I want to do today is we're going to start something new. Uh, we're going to start some challenges every day. And so at the in the comments down below, I want you to do two things for me. Number one, I want you to post something you're thankful for. And number two, I want you to tag three people that you are thankful for. It could be a family member. It could be someone who is encouraging you, someone who is just a, a blessing in your life. But I want you to post or tag three people that you are thankful for, and they are they're going to know that you're thankful for them because you tagged them in this post. And so I want to say to all the amazing people out there who watch these videos every day, you are a blessing in my life. You keep me motivated to do these videos. And I want to say I am thankful for you. And I want to also say another thing, and that is I am thankful for my wife. She has become a uh, homeschool parent that she never wanted to be. And it is difficult. Shout out to all the homeschool parents right now, men and women who are on the front line of the homeschool battle. We are going to make it in Jesus' name. How about this? There are, I'm going to get on a soapbox if I'm not careful. There are some states who are not giving their, their kids any work. The schools are sending them home and are not giving them any homework. Can I just say, if you're in one of those states right now and your kids don't have any work, if you need them to do some extra stuff, you are welcome to contact me because my girls are doing more work now than they were when they were in school. So, Lord Jesus, help us. I mean, we are getting a brand new education we didn't even know we needed right now. But I want to give a shout out to my wife. She is rising to the challenge, doing a great job, and I know all of you are having to do the same. So, I love you guys. Now, three people. Tag three people you're thankful for. Put them in the video below, and I will talk to you next time. I love you so much. God bless you. Talk to you soon. Bye.